All right, what's good with it, chat? Real quick, before we get into this video, I want y'all to just listen to this clip and watch onto the Kumbo big ass just flop if you didn't see this game. He's got 10. So Yanni's already flirting with a triple double. 11, 10, and 4. Hachimori. Like, <laughs> like, bro, you way too big and way too strong to be flopping like that. Get your big ass up off the floor. But anyway, long story short, this is Ball Hog. And Ball Hog was like, he's he's a beta player. He's very good at the game. And he was like, his maxed out onto the Kumpo is unstoppable. And I'm like, bro, stop cop, stop, stop capping me. My GoBert is shut down anybody. And he was like, yo, he tagged me. He was like, I hope this is you. Here's the screenshot. He got 12.75%, but it was against Scorchy. So I laughed. I'm like, bro, you know my body. Stop. You know that Scorchy. You, you, you know what it is. So for the past few days, I've been looking for ball hog, and I've been tearing every single Ante Tacumpo up. And I got some clips for y'all because everybody's like, he's unstoppable. Watch this. There's the Eero. I blocked the Eero. That's you know what I'm saying. Don't worry. About it. I got I got more for y'all. Just just watch. Just enjoy this. Look, Eero step. Boom. That's a snatch block this time. I'm talking about. I've been on a tear. All right. So I slow this down for y'all. This is what you don't want to do versus the Eero step. You don't want to be in front of it. Okay. I'm not going to block it if I'm right in front of it. I'm also setting myself up to get posterized. You don't want to set yourself up to get posterized. All right. So don't be in front of the Eero step. That is y'all mistake. You know what I'm saying? But I have been on an absolute tear. I've been looking for ball hog. I've been looking for you. Every single Ante Tacumpo I've been going up against, I've been whooping them just for you. This is your fault, bro. But, you know, everybody be like, I can't stop them. So I got I got plenty of clips. Look at that. The help defense on the Eero step. I'm blocking it. I got more for you. Don't even worry about it. So we like, what's this clip? More help defense. Boom. That's a tomahawk. That's a tomahawk block. Like, stop playing with my body. You do whatever dunk you want to do. Stop capping me like I'm really not out here with my Goobert, bro. You know I ain't going for no regular ass dunk, so I blocked that. Like, like how many how many more dunks do you want to do? How, how many spike chop? I'm not going for no regular blocks. Him, he getting blocked too. Like, like, why do I always got to prove to y'all that I'm really about this, bro? Ain't nobody that I cannot stop. Look, look. And then, and then I was like, I showed this because I'm like, you don't even have to block. What if you got somebody that can't block? So all I did was body block right here. If you got, if you got a fucking bam and you can't block, right? Look, look, I'm going to give him space. He, he can't dunk that. There's no yellow marker. I got good defense. Watch this. Just give him space. Yep, you can have all that space on Tacumpo. I turn my back on him. I know where you're going. Chat, y'all know where he's going? Defense. Hold the defense. You don't even have to block him. So if you can't block him, bro, stop. Stop capping me, y'all. I'm really tired of y'all. Like, how much do I got to prove? I always got to prove to y'all, bro. But check this out. This is this is a game where I actually first met Y2J. And rumor has it that Y2J is one of the best Ante Tacumpos on the NA server. Now, as you can see, this game is three to four. This was a this was a terrible fucking game. It was it was good on defense, I guess, because ain't nobody scoring shit. Look at my shooter. Zero. Look at his fucking shooter. Zero. My 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 um my cat got the three, and then Tatum got two, and he put up two to win this game. But 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 check it out. You also see that that Y2J has two points. You know why? Because he's not trying to spam the fucking Eero dunks like you bums. There's actually more to Ante Tacumpo than just trying to spam his fucking dunk. Ante Tacumpo is not a one-trick pony. If y'all want to see this game, let me know. I don't think it's a good one to upload. It's literally 3-4. But let's talk about this. All right, chat. So let's talk about this. Let me give you my perspective on Ante Tacumpo. First, let's go to the market because I actually don't own one. So right now, Ante Tacumpo is going for about three mil. And you know who I will compare him to? I, I, me personally. Now, now, now hear, hear me out. Hear me out because I'm tired of y'all one trick ponies. Ante Tacumpo is not a one trick pony. There's so much more to him. And I can say that you can use Ante Tacumpo. Like he's a bam at center with less rebounds or like he's a mini AD. All right. So do, just, just hear me out because because y'all y'all be wild and y'all really do. So me personally, Ante Tacumpo is expensive. I would get him to R5, right? 
AD is even more expensive, but let's do a fair comparison for R5 versus R5. We can do R7 to R7, but I'm giving you my personal perspective. I'm not paying for R7, all right? But I would pay for R5, okay? Is that fair? This, this, this is my personal perspective on how I think you guys should better use onto the Kumpo and not this one trick pony shit that that y'all doing going around versus bums who can't stop y'all because when y'all run into a motherfucker like me you know what's up i got plenty of videos with you ball hog i'm still looking for you we might just get a 3v3 custom because I'm, I'm tired of searching tired of searching for you my boy but anyway let, let, let's get into it so check it out r5 versus r5 like just just, just be open-minded hear me out chat all right so he, he got better strength. Strength is important. By the way, for y'all people who like Wimbyama, y'all do know that Wimbyama is so fucking weak that you can literally just knock his ass down to the ground. Remember when, when we're going up against Dunkers, whether it's um, whether it's King James, regular James, um, who else, Ja, um, hell, Ante Tacompo, you can literally just run Wimby ass over. He can't, he's, he's too weak. So that's why strength is important. So, all right, so hear me out. He got a lot of strength. He got a lot of speed. He got more speed than 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 Wimbyamba, I think, and he has more speed than Bam, if I'm not mistaken. Hell, he got more speed than AD, as we can see. So if you use Antetokounmpo to roam the court, like AD uses roam the court, or like Bam uses roam the court, you're you're doing so much more for your team. You're setting screens. You're, 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 you're setting up plays, whatever you're doing, you're, you're, you're forcing, like, let's say you're versus a center, and a center might be slow as fuck, you're forcing the center to try to keep up with you, it's so much that you can do with this speed that y'all are not utilizing, because y'all out here being one trick ponies, like, roam the court with this, man, this is some incredible speed, we ain't gonna talk about the three point, because we ain't shooting threes, y'all, y'all don't, y'all don't even really shoot threes with AD, so we ain't gotta talk about that, the mid-range, people love AD mid-range, people love BAM's middies. But to be fair, whether you whether you're doing a post-up jumper, I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with your two-point by just dunking the ball. So to be fair, whether you're whether you're taking a mid-range shot or I'm dunking the ball, we can go point for point for the twos. So I say that that those two cancel themselves out, especially when you got a a, a weak ass motherfucker who can't hold onto the combo. Or people who don't know how to stop onto the combo, the 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 dunk might be more easier than the midi. Like, is is that a fair comparison, chat? Like, yeah, like y'all, let me know if I'm capping or not. But I I believe like two point for two point, we can we can go toe to toe. Whether it's dunk versus midi, the layup, he got a nice layup if you know how to use it. He got better dribbles. Like you you can actually ankle break. Like you know what I'm saying when you're going up against the center, if you if you're if you're playing the center for your role. I mean, the center for your team, he can actually ankle break the center and just go in for an easy two. You know what I'm saying? So he got he got nice dribbles. If if you use it, passing passing is so underrated. I say it all the time. You need to be able to get the ball in the hands of your shooter when he is open for the three point shot. When when your shooter is jumping up in the air trying to make that one hand grab because your passing fucking sucks, that's when you realize that passing is actually an important skill. So he has nice passing. He can even steal the ball. You know what I'm saying? I, I think his steals is comparable to that of Bam. I don't, I don't know how many. I'm, I'm not a Bam user. But like I said all the time, y'all know how stealing the ball can change the course of the game. So Ante Kukupo actually has a chance to steal the ball. Now, of course, he's not going to. He ain't finna be no block monster like AD. Hell, ain't nobody running around being a block monster like AD. So that's not even a fair comparison. But check it out. He has 740. He can block, chat. All you need is 600 to block the ball. He got 740. He can block. His defense is 701. Again, we can't compare it to AD. It's not a fair comparison. But at, at 701 defense, you can hold defense. Like, who who who, who do y'all put onto the Kumpo up against? Where 700 defense is not good, he can he can hold defense on any center at 700 points. Like who 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 who's gonna break him? Who's gonna ankle break him at the center position at 700 defense? Who do y'all got breaking him at the at the at the at the two if it's power forward versus power forward? 
So like who do, who do we use at power fours? We got Anthony Davis. We got Wimby Yama's running around. Wimby Yama's not gonna ankle break onto Takumbo. And, and like, am I right? Am I lying? Like, y'all let me know if I'm capping. We got JJ. JJ's not gonna ankle break onto Takumbo. You know what I'm saying? I don't, who else we got that people run around with that power forward? We got um, I mean, some people use Aaron Gordon. He he's not gonna ankle break them. Like so so where 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 is 700 defense not good? I mean, if he get put up against a, a Tatum, you know what I'm saying? Okay, it's a small forward versus power forward. And then the rebound, um, the rebound is lacking. It's only 749, but it's not like he can't get rebounds, you know what I'm saying? If In the screenshot I just uploaded versus Y2J, I think that Y2J had more rebounds than me, maybe maybe like three or four, and I had like two, maybe three. I don't know. Um, that, that has a lot to do with just the positions on the court, the screens we were setting. So it, it's a lot of things that go into rebounding. Now, I'm not going to say you just go toe-to-toe with a fucking Jokic or go toe-to-toe with a fucking Bam on the boards. I'm not saying that. But when you're actually moving around the court, setting screens and fighting for a position, onto the Kupo is going to help you on the boards. Like, is that fair? So if, if you're literally roaming the court doing more than just being a, a, a one-trick pony with onto the Kupo, he provides so much more for his team that y'all are not even utilizing. So now let, let's get into the skills. Um, first step master, pro dunker. We know he's a dunk monster. Got the defensive anchor. What that do again? When on the court, improve teammates' defense block and steals. I love it. Y'all know I love giving my teammates free stat boosts. Just by being on the court, you're giving them free stats. I love it. Airborne. Uh, Prince of Pursuit, y'all know how important that can be for blocking from behind. Again, he can block. He can block, chat. No fly zone. He can block, chat. Box out master, poster printer. Again, if you don't have somebody who know how to stop him, easy two points. I mean, hell, y'all doing it. Y'all literally out here doing it. Just fucking being two-point spamming monsters against people who don't know how to stop y'all. So, yeah, I, you know I'm not capping. He, he got poster printer. Brick wall. You need you need brick wall. Yep, again, who, who who's ankle breaking him? Elite rebounder to help on the boards. Got a pick and roll master. Again, set screens. Set screens for your team, chat. Like, stop being a one-trick pony. Dunk monster. We know he can dunk. He got solid footwork, and he has an ankle breaker. Again, the dribble. If onto the Kumpo versus any center, give him space, let him ankle break, and it, easy two points. Now, now, if you're smart like me, I don't, I, I, you see me, I do not play up close again. I, I, I know, I know what he's going to do against me. I can't hold him. I just know where he's going so I can, you know what I'm saying, predict the movements or stop, or stop him from scoring, but you're not going to see me play hard defense versus him and get my fucking ankle breaks. I'm not slow. He has an ankle break chat. It's like, it's like, stop, bro. <laughs> Actually use him. He has an, he has an acceleration master for more speed. Let's see what this is doing. Improve your high speed dribble abilities. Supposed to first step, yeah. So again, utilize that speed. The zone finder. I, I, I'm telling you, passing is important. Um, let's see. Quick chase, post up, strong finisher. What that is? AD don't even got that. Okay, layups. All right. Stamina, firm catcher, floor chat. He has floor general. Again, more free stats. More free stats for your team, chat. I love it. I love providing free stats for my team. All we do is run three v three. He doesn't have slippery worm, but I mean, who's really who's really out here screening onto the Kumpo? Uh, I don't know. I don't see it too often. Um, speedy passer again. I talk about how important passing is. He even has a needle threader. Chat, come on, alley oops. Hey, we y'all not using alley oops enough? He has three for three alley oop. Put back dunk three for three. Fight for the boards. He got box out counter. You can't box him out. Nimble crossover again. He can ankle break y'all. Power rebound, help on the boards. The dunk fake and pass. Now I don't see this too often, but that that that'll actually get me. Like y'all 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 know my body. I'm blocking them. So if he come through with a dunk fake pass, I'm I'm jumping at the fucking fake. So then he might just be able to pass to the open man when I'm trying to help defense. Like this this here can literally change the entire course of the game versus a Gobert like me. Because if, if, if uh, like 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 that um that clip where I had to help Gibby because Gibby is a bam, and I and I blocked the dunk for him, like like imagine me help defense and, and then fucking onto the Kubo, pass it to my man at the three because I'm help defensing. 
That's chat. This this isn't. Y'all don't use them. Y'all don't use them at all. Y'all just out here dunking. If you, I I I can't, bro. He got long range blocker. He got quick start layup if you want it. Roll in again. More rebound chaser. All the fucking dunks that he has. Snatch block. The Eero step that everyone loves. Double pump layup. This actually got me. I'm gonna be real with y'all, chat. I haven't figured out how to stop this yet. If you if y'all use this more against me, you you got me. You 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 ain't you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna dunk on me. But if you don't if you double pump layup, you got me beat, chat. I promise you. I haven't figured out how to time or stop this just yet because I don't like y'all just dunk so much that I'm actually not used to y'all doing a double pump layup that it catches me off guard. Like the first time I seen this. I was like, what the fuck? He has a layup? <laughs> like, like, what? Like, I thought he just dunked the ball. This motherfucker has a layup? I'm going to put the layup at the end of this video. I think y'all got to see it. That shit was impressive as hell. I was like, what? Got the BTL dribble. I don't know how impressive his step back is. It might be a small step back. I don't know. Yeah, he got a fucking hook shot. I don't even see hook shots. Heat map comparison. It's pretty good. Chat, Rome, he got so much. Roam the court, chat. Can, can y'all stop being bombs with Ante Tacumbo? He has so much more to offer to the team. Can y'all stop? Can y'all actually try? And the, and the only reason y'all getting away with it is because y'all playing up against bombs. Y'all playing up against bombs who don't know what to do against them, and y'all think y'all good. That's, y'all, that's wild, bro. Where's the competition in NA? I'm so tired and bored of NA. The shooters are the real MVPs of NA, bro. Because y'all dunkers and spam, y'all are just bombs. Shout out to all the shooters out there, bro. Y'all make this game entertaining. Because this, this shit is boring. Incredible double pump slam. That's worth a replay. <laughs> 